By the way, welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm doing fine, as I always do. 21 incredible insider facts about Alex Carlin will be revealed today. I think you'll be shocked. Here are 21 secret facts about Alex Carlin. Number 1. Alex Carlin is a Canadian comedian, actor, and writer. He is best known for his stand-up comedy, which often deals with social and political issues. Number 2. Carlin was born in Montreal, Quebec, on October 21, 1943. Number 3. He began his comedy career in the early 1960s, performing in small clubs and coffee houses. Number 4. In the early 1970s, Carlin moved to Los Angeles to pursue a career in television. He appeared on several shows, including the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour and All in the Family. Number 5. In 1977, Carlin released his first stand-up comedy album, Class Clown. The album was a critical and commercial success, and it helped to establish Carlin as one of the leading comedians of his generation. Number 6. Over the next few decades, Carlin released several more successful stand-up comedy albums, including An Evening with Wally Londo, A Place for My Stuff, Napalm and Silly Putty, and Parental Advisory. Number 7. Carlin also starred in several films, including All in the Family, Carlin on Campus, and Carlin at Carnegie Hall. Number 8. In 2008, Carlin was awarded the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor, the highest honor given by the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. Number 9. Carlin was a vocal critic of the government and organized religion. He was also a strong advocate for free speech and civil liberties. Number 10. Carlin was a heavy smoker and drinker for many years. He quit smoking in 1986 and drinking in 2003. Number 11. Carlin was married four times and had one daughter. Number 12. Carlin was a lifelong fan of the Montreal Canadiens hockey team. Number 13. Carlin was a voracious reader and had a large library of books on a variety of subjects. Number 14. Carlin was a talented musician and played the piano and guitar. Number 15. Carlin was a big fan of science fiction and fantasy. Number 16. Carlin was a private person and rarely gave interviews. Number 17. Carlin died of a heart attack on June 22, 2008, at the age of 72. Number 18. Carlin's funeral was held at the Riverside Church in New York City. It was attended by many of his friends and colleagues, including George Carlin, Norm MacDonald, and Bill Maher. Number 19. Carlin's ashes were scattered in the St. Lawrence River in Montreal. Number 20. In 2016, a documentary about Carlin's life and career, titled Alex Carlin, The Last Professor, was released. Number 21. In 2023, Carlin was posthumously inducted into the Canadian Comedy Hall of Fame. Thank you for watching. Love you all. See you in next video. Bye.